Welcome back to the completionist run of Lotro with this Red Hunter River Hobbit and I'm heading into the South Barrow Downs, which is the tougher of the two Barrow Downs regions. Now in the previous one I found one of the two lost brothers, or rather his body. So amongst other things I've got to find the second one. Now I've got um, bounty quests for uh, Bargess and Barrowed, um, Barrow Whites. I have a Slayer Deed um, for the Spirits and for Barrow Wardens like this. So this is a useful place to take out both. Uh, there are bigger ones though. This is Goyatharm. Plague bearers, I don't think they count as wardens. Now there was an odd thing then, and it happened again later, where I uh, got stunned. Oh, here's the boss that I had to take out in here. Uh, yeah, got stunned and the thing that stunned me died almost at the same instant and uh, the stun lasted longer for some reason, even though the fight wasn't still going on. Now I've got ring symbols there on the barrow entrances because there are still some quests and deeds concerned with inside the southern barrows. But uh, I'm still collecting uh, bounty stuff at the moment. Yeah, for bargests and white skulls. Now, this is the Bone Man. This was a quest from uh, one of the shades, one of the friendly ghosts. But that was up uh, at the ruin, uh, lost something, and going up there fulfilled part of an explorer deed. But here's the other brother. First one was dead, second one is possessed. I have to take him out. And now there's this place to drop down to. Uh, in a bog. I've sorted out my virtues. I'm going to run out of different virtues to accumulate, but this is part of Horde's Iarchith. Uh, the arrangements for Bar uh, yeah, I came straight back out. I realized that what I needed wasn't in there. Uh, because there are multiple ways in. My priority with all this to do was to shrink my list on the right there uh, as quickly as possible, try and simplify things. Because I'm trying to do 10 things at once here. So I'm using hunting to finish off my bounties. And then I can go back up to Dead Man's Perch to hand them in. At this stage, I've got enough Barrow Whites. And there's the Trinkets of Cardolan uh, bounty, uh, which was for, you get them from any creatures here. Uh, but that was just completed. Just has to be handed in. Yeah, uh, the advanced section of the Slayer Deeds involves killing so many that I will be doing a lot of it offline, you know, not on video. Uh, but I'll try not to actually complete any of them and I'll just shoot the last few uh, on video so you can see them being achieved.
Right. Uh, that's the way from the perch to Bree. Uh, you can go down the slope if you want, but I decided to go quickly to here and once again empty out inventory, uh, including uh, Taylor recipes there. And there are reputation items to use. And I'm about to use up the last of my keys. Oh no, not the last of them, that was just the first couple. Um, <clears throat> the two currencies that you get from dissolving the items from those chests, I'm already full on. So I haven't had enough characters up to uh, level 112, for example, to buy uh, Mordor gear with them. So I'm uh, full and overflowing. So if I can't use the items in the chests, I end up selling them. And of course, there's some cosmetic items that don't sell either, so I have to chuck them away. Now, the shade that I got the Bone Man for uh, said go and see this shade. So that's finished that quest stream. And this is the woman who gave the fellowship quests to the barrows. You know, I've still got uh, those white quests there, which are the bears and uh, the trees. But that was finishing off a quest sequence by talking to the mayor again. And I'm using my hunter ability to teleport to Mikkel Delving in order to go straight to, uh, what is it, Thorin's Gate, because there's that other stable that takes me straight here to Trestle Bridge. Ordinary stables, there are no fast travel in or out of Trestle Bridge, but that enabled me to do that vector quest and tag the stable. So now I'm off for another session around the South Barrow Downs, taking out Barjess largely for deeds now. But uh, the grave moss that's on the top there, that's from inside these barrows. Now, this one is the barrow you go to when you're in the late 40s doing the epic. There's a part up the back of it which you can only get into then. But I'm here for uh, the wardens mostly. And I might get some uh, grave moss as well. So Warden, Barrowhounds will probably advance the deed, but I'm past them in quests. Um, you know, like I said, I won't be able to get into the section at the back, but I've Simply come in and clear this place. Okay, warden down, another one in a side passage. And there's the door that I can't get into. So that's that done. Just took out a respawn. And out. Okay, now, uh, still going on bar jest deed. But I'm heading up in the direction of the ruin again. This place up here. Uh, I mean, the bone man's gone, but there's another boss right over the back. Uh, 
and yields the last item for the ghost quests. Right, and that's the first time I've ever taken him out. Right, time to ride out of here because these ordinary whites are not getting me anything anymore. Even when they sneak up behind me. And I'm into taking bears and evil trees. And uh, large barrow crawlers. Now, I realised just on this run that when I killed the bears, it was spawning the barrow crawlers. Now, I don't remember seeing that before. It may be something new. I can remember it being more difficult to find large barrow crawlers, but it's pretty obvious what's happening here. So I got into a rhythm of taking out a bear, shooting a rain of arrows because there was usually more than one barrow crawler being spawned, and rain of arrows just took them straight out, and uh, managed to get these two quests uh, done a lot quicker than I used to. Now here goes some of the horns. Nasty trees. I'm using a lot of heart seeker on them. But yes, bear and rain of arrows. I think these quests, these three quests that are in white there, are the highest level quests in uh, Breeland anywhere. So I'm gradually whittling them down to nothing, but then there'll be deeds. Yeah, and there'll be so much to do in the way of deeds that I, uh, besides doing some of them offline, I will probably go and do yonder shire in the middle of all the deeds just for something different to do. Right. I used to be afraid of these trees when I was, uh, I think I had difficulty with them when I was playing a minstrel, but that was very early on. Right, still reporting, and I now have enough grave moss to go back to Bree. But those white quests are now finished with. Same again, use the reputation items. I've never needed any repairs for this character. And go around the quest givers here. I've now completed, I think, everything of hers. The, the, uh, what she's got now are repeated quests. And him too. I've already done his. So. so once again, reviewing the list. But I've got a couple of quests for the Great Barrow, so I've got to go sort that out. Uh, apart from Tom Bombadil's quest, I've tended to ignore the Great Barrow in the past. Uh, it looked to me as though all the quests were um, not just small fellowship quests, but full fellowship quests. And my tendency has been not to pick those up when I'm soloing. But for this run, I wanted to at least try uh, to do fellowship quests. And if they're too tough, then to come back at a later level. Now, here we are back in Taradan uh, to take out Barrow Spiders and... There's two levels to a deed to take these out, but uh, 
if there's another player, no, I think I cut it out of the video, but uh, twice when I came in here, there was someone else taking the spiders. So I uh, decided to go off somewhere else. Still need bar jests. We are crossing over past the central column here. There's the, the barrow back in the bog. Uh, no, not in the bog, in the, how you describe it, in a hollow here. I can never remember all their names until I get there. But I knew this place was thick with bar jests. Right, back in the south. You know, I was... Oh, didn't expect that rat. Oops, that was uh, the wrong thing targeted. Yeah, okay, mini deal again. Uh, so this is just resuming uh, doing wardens in effect. You have to get a lot of wardens in the deeds and they're all elites. So I think that was the first level of the wardens deeds now we'll have to go to uh, the main barrow so i stopped to pick up this extra quest inside the great barrow and decided to give it a go now because i hadn't really done it before i was surprised to see there's three alternatives Depending on which one you pick, what's inside here is different. Now, this is the maze version of the Great Barrow. Uh, so it's uh, good for uh, wardens and spirits. Uh, but anyway, there's uh, the purging the dead ordinary whites in here uh, but of course it gives you extra objectives which are part of the instance not the normal quest stream other classes would be better at those big crowds like that Now, I saw the ancient chalices there. Now, of course, that's a quest which came from outside the instance, so it's fair enough that I do that one. It took me a while to realise that uh, they're not all in the same uh, instance uh, of the three for the Great Barrow. I was going to have to go in the others as well as this one. But this is the first time I've done this, ever. So I really didn't know how this instance works. Um, especially the white caller. Didn't know how to handle him. It's just down here. I started to take out others. The caller came over, raised a couple more, and I was totally overcrowded. Totally ganged up on. Ganked! So... I didn't know what to do with this caller. It took me a few tries to work it out. So here I'm coming straight back into the instance, but uh, working my way around to the right instead of the left. So I'm taking out more whites for the purpose of that objective.
but you ultimately end up in the same place. Tried looking for all alternatives. I didn't know whether the closed doors, whether you were supposed to go somewhere and trigger those uh, and then go through them, uh, which is not the case. It's just that the stuff that I couldn't find is in the other versions of the Great Barra. Now, this time, I kind of stumbled onto a better tactic. The ones that the caller did not call uh, chased me up here. But when the caller is involved, running back up those stairs is a bad thing because uh, it resets the fight. And the things that he summons will be summoned again, and he'll be back in place uh, with uh, on full health. So uh, he, he becomes untargetable at that point. So uh, just trying to take him out fast doesn't work. Now, that time, though, I decided to sneak past him. Now, there was one more white hiding around the corner, but I now I saw that there's three chalices in here. Two of them were easy to grab. The other one... I uh, decided to go around and try and sneak it. Um, you know, it didn't work. The caller saw me, but I was able to grab the chalice anyway. So running back up the top made him disappear and his minions disappear. Well, him go back to his place and his minions disappear. So uh, having gained the chalices, the only ones I could find, uh, it, I thought it was time to leave. For I thought doors like that would open if I did the right thing. Uh, I did some boosts, uh, but uh, teleported out, uh, handed in, I think, probably the last thing that needs to be handed in here at the perch. That other ring symbol on the minimap is uh, you know, repeatable bounties. And having eliminated a few more things, I added a few more to the list. And some of them now are uh, some things back in the northern Barrow Downs. And of course, there's a bunch of stuff elsewhere in Breeland, like the old forest. Now, I came down into this valley uh, knowing that there was something in a barrow I hadn't found in the north. I came here looking for one that I could actually walk into, but there isn't one, despite the number of uh, apparent entrances there. So I looked at them, the flag locations on the map, came here, and uh, I'd all realised that Marrow, the boss in here, although he's optional for that earlier quest uh, that you're sent to at level 20, uh, he's essential for a deed. Uh, the uh, Taking out all the bosses, and I've got two left now. Um, one in Hordiakith, which I'm in now. Uh, and this is the principal part of Hordiakith. Uh, lots of spirits, lots of wardens. I'll have to farm this place later to finish deeds. Right. I was mapping it thoroughly there, make sure I didn't miss any branches, because again, uh, I'd never done this place before. I managed to find the boss in here fairly easily uh, just by looking at uh, the architecture and the layout of the place. I could see the symmetries where the centre was going to be. Uh, there was a lot of pairs of spirits and whites like this. Oh, that was two whites, but... Uh, <clears throat> uh, Rain of Arrows has a fairly short uh, cooldown to keep doing those pairs. When they come close, I hit them with low cut, which is also an AOE, but melee. Trouble is, 
I got too too much muscle memory uh, going six and seven, and I started doing the low cut before they'd come into range. Did that a couple of times. But they're all blue. And I could see that there was stairs either side of that, but one central staircase. So I knew that I was going to have to come up here, go around the other side to get the real central location of uh, the dungeon. Okay, spirits, spirits, all grist for the mill, and there's the boss. So I got a long shot heart seeker on him and just took out what uh, I aggroed as a result of that. So that's the main objective done. But I decided to finish this place and sort of go, finish, go right around the circuit uh, just for the sake of wardens and spirits. Okay. So I'm now the other side of the sort of higher level. This very fast moving uh, Gaunt Lord there yeah, keeps running up and down the stairs. Because of his fast movement, he sneaked up on me at one point. Yeah, I took him out. Uh, but look, see, it's not, uh, no, I'm not. It must have been another one. His uh, respawn couldn't have been that fast. Fast mover. Right, but this is the central staircase. So once I take out the rest of this chamber, it'll be around to the left to complete the circuit. Yeah, just checking the layout there. Obviously, there's going to be the, the way to the south is just going to be the same as the north passage. One of each. Those spirits can stun you for quite a bit of time. Uh, my inventory is absolutely full. Yeah, if you don't take these out quickly. Uh, it's like they have a good stun but they don't use it right away so if you're too slow killing them they get you with it oops all these squares you have to keep jumping out of it's like uh, the eye of Sauron I started getting anxious to get out of here, so I left behind a couple of enemies. Okay, circuit is complete, just got to get out the exit. There we are. Loads of things standing in that pool. We decided to just take off. And I went back down to this one uh, to find the last boss, which is the boss bar jest. I'd already been in here twice and it didn't uh, spawn. But it has this time, and of all of those bosses in uh, the Barrow Downs, I think this was the toughest one. You could see from the green on its uh, frame. And I just cleared this little Barrow and back to uh, Bree again, Lalia's Market, and I'll ton of stuff to do and yeah this this is where i finished all my four keys that i got when the character was new <clears throat> okay 
But next video, I will do something completely different. I will do some deeds other than in the Barrow Downs. And maybe then go off to uh, yonder shire. Okay, now, uh, yeah, I've, I've just kept two chests in my inventory. I'll discard any others I get. Right, juggling deeds again and adding just about all of them back in, including explorer deeds. So that will be a change of pace. I'll see you next time.